Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome uh, to the next talk. It's called Cybernetic Cannibalism, and I'm very happy that so many people are here to listen to the talk because it's one of the few talks we have here at the CCC, at the 26C3, that are not Eurocentric. We are talking about Brazil here and why Brazil is the country of the future. And that's the first thing. And the second thing is, it's a talk that actually deals with literature, with liter literature and literature history, uh, because it's based on the Cannibalist Manifesto from 1928. And a Brazilian poet wrote the Cannibalist Manifesto in 1928. And you might think, why are we here? Why are we talking about that? What, what does it tell us about our lives? So the Cannibalist Manifesto from 1928 and why it directly relates to file sharing and many, many ongoing uh, discussions of the present day. I'm very looking forward to hearing it. A big applause for Elena and for Cristiano. Big applause. Um, it's a very, very nice opportunity to be here. My name is Elena. I'm from State University of Rio. I'm a researcher. I am in my first year of research. So it's very difficult to explain my research in Portuguese. Can you imagine in English? So I'm going to speak really slow so can I, I would be clear and you could understand what I'm saying. And I'm, I'd like to thank the CCC Congress for this opportunity and especially Julia and Alexander. Alexander. So, we are independent researchers, but we have many, many points in common. And for this Congress, we are talking about eating people, eating culture. So let's start with a verse from the poet Ojo de Andrade. I asked a man what law was. He answered me that it was the guarantee to exercise the possible. This, na this man's name was Gali Matias. I ate him. I'm only interested in what is not mine, law of man, law of the cannibal. That's from Oswald de Andrade. Uh, he's a poet from the vanguard in the 20s, last century. So I, rec I recall this verse in, during a movie that I watched in, in the Brazilian movie festival in Rio de Janeiro. The name of the movie is Hip a Remix Manifesto. And Andrade was one of the organizers of the Modern Art Week. It's a landmark of the modernist movement in Brazil. Uh, there are many artists at that time, and they are very in synchrony with the avant-garde of Europe, like Cubism and Surrealism. They all were in the same frequency. So th these are some of the artists like painters and, and writers and poets and musicians. They all came together at that time. So uh, just after the, the, the modern week, um, the, the modernist week in Brazil, Oswald Andrade, he wrote uh, the, his first manifesto, and the name is Manifesto of Pau Brasil. He provoked all the people, saying that we have to celebrate our native uh, culture, the language without archaism, without erudition, a millionaire contribution of all mistakes, the way we speak, the way, the way we are. So what they, they propose is to... Uh, to celebrate the primitivism. But in the same time, the Modern Week, uh, art, the modern art Week in Brazil, uh, they, they, they desire the future. They desire the, the progress, the technology. But at the same time, the celebration of the primitivism, the native language. So this is just a, for a curiosity, the name of the, the, the Manifesto Pau Brasil, it's the name of a native wood from Brazil that attract the Portuguese, the, colonized, the colonizer. So this is the map 
all you see the Indians and the Pau Brazil because Brazil was an exploration colony, right? So what he proposed is to see with free eyes the Pau Brasil poem offers a new perspective characterized by the return to poor sense where the universal is contained in the regional, to be regional and poor in its own time. So it's kind of glocal way of thinking. And connecting to Brad Gaylor movie, Hip, a remix manifesto, the modern art week, what they did is to stop any kind of cult of the past. So in this point, they connect to the four point of view of Brad Gaylor, which is to build, to build free society, you must limit the control of the past. So somehow, Brad Gaylor today and the modern art week in the 20s, they have some intersection. Story Ai, peraí, 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 peraí. Wait a minute. So, um, I'm gonna show you just a piece of the movie, where is the anthropology, anthropophagy manifesto, because it's already translated, and I think it's much easier for you. It's just, just a piece. I heard a story before I came to Rio, that when the first Portuguese bishop arrived in Brazil, the natives were so impressed by the word of God that they ate the bishop in order to digest the power of the Catholic Church. Perguntei ao homem o que era o direito. Ele me respondeu que era a garantia do exercício da possibilidade. Comia. Só a antropofagia nos une. Socialmente, economicamente, filosoficamente. Da Revolução Francesa ao Romantismo, a Revolução Bolchevista, a Revolução Surrealista. Caminhamos. So he was talking about a bishop, which is Bishop Sardinha. He was eaten by the native Indians in Brazil. And there is a guy, there's a German guy called Hans Taden, that he went to Brazil, he was an adventurer, and he went to Brazil, and because he was German, they didn't eat him. Because the point is, the native, they eat the, the foregans to incorporate the quality of the others. <laughs> really? <laughs> so they became more powerful. And because the Portuguese were the colonizer, they were the most powerful ones. So the Germans, it's like bad flesh. I don't need the Germans. <laughs> so he, tested, he saw many of these ritual things and came to German again. And one guy, he des designed all the, all the, the rituals. The rituals. And if it's not clear, anthropophagy, anthropo from, the, from man and phagian from eat. But the common sense is cannibalism. And I didn't find a translation. I had a fight with my translation because I, had, I, I wanted to keep the anthropophagy. So I tried to, to, to keep the, because of the concept. Because cannibalist is very uh, common sense and it's very conceptual, the, the word anthropophagy. So these are the pictures of uh, Hans Taden. Here's Hans Taden over there, like completely crazy. And this guy, he designed and all the, the paintings. So, why Andrade, so what Andrade did, of course, this is a metaphor. I'm not saying that we should kill and eat people. But he's, he, what he's saying is that he took this uh, practice of the Indians, the native Indians, to explain the Brazilian society in a metaphorical way. So it's a metaphor, of course. <laughs> And so then he wrote this manifesto. The manifesto was published in the Revista Antropofágica, which is 